Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about stable diffusion and how we can install stable diffusion in our system in easiest way possible. For those who don't know about stable diffusion, it is a powerful tool for digital art and visual storytelling and stable diffusion is a deep learning text to image model that was released in 2022. It is primarily used to generate detailed image conditioned on text description. So now without further ado, let's get started. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to open internet browser and for that you can simply click on menu button and type EDZE -E, which is for Microsoft Edge. After opening Microsoft Edge, what we need to do is we need to type the following link in the URL. And not to worry guys, I'm going to provide you the same link in the description of this video. And now we need to simply click here on this download option. So what it will do is it will take us to this installation page. And now here based on the kind of system or OS that we are using, we need to click. So here we are using Windows. So I'm going to click here on download for Windows. So this is the easiest way to install stable diffusion. The biggest advantage of this setup file is that it even will work. Let's say you do not have a compatible GPU or Nvidia GPU. You are using only CPU. So you can still use it and uh, change the setting. Just the issue is it will be slow. So here you can, um, you know, read the same what I'm saying. And then there are few more prerequisites like you need to have at least 8 gigabyte of RAM or 20 gigabyte of free space. Now let me click here on open since we already have downloaded it and click on I agree and click on install. So this is very easy guys compared to the way it was before. Now let me just wait for the whole process to get ended. Now here you can see the setup is automatically downloading the model as well. So here we can see further more dependencies are getting downloaded. These all dependencies we used to do manually but the good thing about this setup is all is automatic and you not need to do anything. And there we go we have successfully installed this stable diffusion now let me click on finish and finally here we can see it running here we can see settings with whom you can play with and let's say you do not have gpu in that case you can also select this option which is use cpu only although it look different than stable diffusion but basically it is stable diffusion. They just rename it as easy diffusion because the process here is much more simpler. You can also verify by seeing the model. So here you can see this is the same model that stable diffusion use. Now um, let me just go back to generate and here if you click on make image you will see that it will start processing this photograph of astronaut riding horse so like this prompt you can even you know create your own prompt and there we go here we can see the image of an astronaut with horse but here it did not generate it the way we wanted to since the astronaut is outside this picture so this time i actually ask in my prompt that make it within frame so that is how now this time this astronaut is within the frame so that's all guys from my side in this video in this video we saw the easiest method of installing stable diffusion in our system without going too technical and as i said before this process is also applicable for those users who do not have nvidia gpu so thanks again guys for watching this video please like and subscribe to this channel to watch these kind of more content and i will catch you soon in my next video Till then take care and bye bye.